towering ice-capped peaks of the Himalayas inspire awe and respect, and they've always played a central role in the lives of the Bhutanese villages below. But now the country's melting glaciers are threatening a farming tradition and a way of life that has existed for generations. Songpon Ugai has lived here with his extended family for nearly his entire life. My income is from agriculture only and nothing else. Rice, wheat, cabbage and chilies. We feed ourselves and sell the surplus. But all that is now in danger due to global warming. Himalayan glaciers are starting to melt. Bhutan's largest glacial lake, Fofomi, is filled to the brim and can't hold any more water. Experts are worried the lake's natural dams will burst and send water gushing through the valley, destroying villages along the way. The thought alone makes Songpon Ugai nervous. When I built this house, no outside experts had ever visited this area, and so I was not aware of the dangers. Now I really regret building it here. In 1994, the dams of a nearby glacial lake burst, and the flood killed 28 people and devastated the valley below. Many families lost their homes. If Lake Thorfomi burst its dams, the flood level would be three times higher. Bhutan's government appealed for international aid last year to prevent another catastrophe in the Himalayan valleys. Artificial water canals were constructed to drain off water from the lake. Daoshu Dukpa is the chief engineer on the Thothormi project. More than 300 people are helping. They're working with only their hands and basic tools. Heavy machinery could damage the dams even further. Basically, they are pulling the bigger boulders. They are dragging with the, the help of rope. They're using crowbars, uh, hammers to break those larger boulders. And then those pickaxes to dig the materials out. They have lowered this level by 47 centimeters. Their goal is to lower Thorfomi's water level by five meters, giving the Bhutanese government some time to find a more long-term solution. Dasho Tsongdag is the governor of the Punaka district and the Po Chu River Valley. He hopes to install an early warning system to alert villagers. But for now, they have to depend on word of mouth and basic technology. Please take the case, repeat, repeat. We have appointed focal persons in every villages, every settlement, beginning from the source till down the line. If the warning call comes, residents don't have much time to flee. Officials believe that if the dams burst in the mountains, it would be only six hours until the entire valley would be flooded. The plan is to install sensors uh, at the source here as well as a little bit further downstream, that would give enough lead time for the settlements or the, for the people to evacuate. Ironically, water is Bhutan's most valuable resource and its biggest source of income. It's used to produce electricity that's sold to neighboring countries. A burst dam would also threaten important power plants. Tsongpon Ugai often wonders how long he and his family can live here safely. He believes that fate must run its course. Ugai was once a Buddhist monk, and once a year, he makes the long journey into the city to take part in the annual Buddhist Chichu festival. As the old Bhutanese saying goes, your real enemy is fire or water. Nobody can defeat them. It's our fate, and we have to live with it.